Hey everyone, it's Swapna from Panels, and today I want to talk about some middle grade comics. Uh, if you read Book Riot regularly, you probably already know what middle grade is, but if you're unfamiliar with the term, it's basically the category in age below young adult or YA, so it's usually middle school or fifth to eighth grade. So middle grade is a huge thing right now in publishing. There's so many books towards that level of readers, and it's the same in comics. Middle grade comics have exploded in the past uh, year or so, and there are more and more being released, and they're doing really well, and they're really fun, and even though they're categorized as middle grade comics, they really are appropriate for all ages, and they're enjoyable for all ages. So you don't feel like you're reading a kid's book when you're reading these comics. Today I want to talk about three different middle grade comics. One's a new release, one is a uber popular graphic memoir that has become a modern classic, I feel like, in comics these days. And so it's, these are kind of a little bit all over the spectrum, authors you may have may not have heard of, but that you definitely should check out. The first book I want to talk about is Smile by Raina Telgemeier. And this is the modern classic I was talking about. If you haven't heard of Raina Telgemeier, well, she's a graphic memoirist and graphic novelist. She has written two memoirs. She's written uh, one graphic novel, but she has also created comic forms of the first four Babysitter's Club novels, which I've talked about on my videos before. So you might not have heard of her, but you've probably heard of her books. Her two graphic memoirs are Smile and Sisters. Now Sisters is about her relationship with her sister as a kid, uh, while her novel Drama is about kids in middle school putting on a school play. Now this, Smile, was her first graphic memoir and it is her most famous book. It is an Eisner award-winning graphic memoir. Well so on the surface it appears to be about Telga Meyer's experiences with dental work as odd as that might sound. She had, a, she had a horrible accident when she was a kid and the accident itself wasn't that horrible. She just fell. But the resulting uh, injuries to her mouth and the, the sheer scope of the dental work she was subject to for most of her young life is just horrible. It's pretty horrifying. Uh, but the graphic memoir itself, I don't feel like it's too graphic, so if you have visceral reactions to that sort of thing, she doesn't go into too much detail in terms of drawing out each step, because I say that the comic is ostensibly about that, because really it's much more uh, about her experiences growing up and how maybe some of them were shaped by her dental work, and how it was basically difficult to fit in, because she had all this dental stuff going on, and about finding out who her true friends were, and that sort of journey, that coming of age journey that we all go on. Um, this is, it's a very enjoyable graphic memoir. Telga Meyer has gorgeous colors and um, illustrations to accompany her comic. She's a very talented artist and has a very signature style that if you've read, read multiples of her book, you can easily recognize. But I rec recommend, I've read pretty much all of her books and I can recommend any of them and you can start anywhere with her books. Though she has two graphic memoirs and Sisters came out later, it's not necessarily a sequel, they're kind of companion memoirs so you can read either one first. Uh, but I'm a huge fan of Raina Telgemeier's and so if she's not on your radar she definitely needs to be. Next I want to talk about Secret Coders by Jean Luen Yang and Mike Holmes and this is from First Second Box. So this is an adventure starring a main character named Hopper and she's at a new school and she really doesn't like her new school. She thinks the kids are mean and she knows she's not gonna fit in. But Hopper notices something strange about the school she's attending. There are all these mysterious number nines on the walls and so she finds an unlikely kindred spirit, a friend for her to have adventures with, and the two of them try to solve the mystery of the school they're at. And that probably sounds like a vague description because it is, but this fun of this comic is just kind of not knowing what to expect and going into it uh, without any expectations and learning about these characters and the premise for yourself. So it's got these great, Holmes' is great art. Um, it's kind of a black and white and green and it's just, it's gorgeous art. And what I le really like about this book, it's called Secret Coders. It's actually the first in a series 
And it's about coding, like computer coding. Um, they, the purpose of the book is to kind of get kids interested in computers and coding through comics, which I think is great. I think it's great to have an opportunity to enjoy yourself by reading a comic while still learning something. Uh, and if you don't know much about coding, whether you're a kid or an adult, you're going to learn something from this book. I think this is really well done. And it really is genuinely entertaining while also uh, it's not one of those you know sometimes this type of learning learning book uh can uh it's not it puts too much emphasis on the learning not enough on the entertainment it's not going to really get kids into it but kids will, i feel like will really enjoy this series because the characters are interesting and um the mystery i'm really definitely curious to read the next installment and see where it goes so uh Definitely, this is one to pick up. Finally, I'm going to talk about Awkward by Svetlana Chmakova, and this is from Yen Press. And this book, it's also set in a school, and it is about a young girl named Pepe. And Pepe Torres is starting another story about a young girl starting at a new school, and her main goal is to just not get noticed. Her best case scenario and the goal she sets for herself for her first day of school is to just not give anybody a reason to make fun of her, to not get noticed. And she does not succeed in that goal because she r runs into a young boy, physically runs into him, and they fall. And the popular kids notice and start teasing her. And Peppy doesn't react to that well and she does something she's ashamed of and that will ha that haunts her over the course of the book and the overall story of this is peppy trying to fit in and trying to make her way in her new school and she gets involved with the art club i don't want to go too much further into that than that because i don't want to ruin anything but the art in this is great i really love the way chmakova does her art the colors, you know, the, the kind of muted coloring serves this book really well. Um, and it's a beautifully put together paperback book. So there you have it, three middle grade comics you should definitely keep an eye out for. They're all definitely great reads and they're all worth picking up. And so if you haven't come and checked us out at Panels, we're at panels.net. And we have a lot of great comics content that you should check out. You can find me on Twitter at S Krishna. You can find panels on Twitter at Hey Panels. And I'll see you next week.